everyone, today I'm bringing you the perfect palette tag and I'm just going to be sharing with you some of the palettes that I have come to know and love and some of the ones that not so much. So let's get started. The palette with the best packaging. I give this prize to the balm. My Nude Tude palette I think has the perfect packaging for travel, for storage, for absolutely everything. Um, as you can see, it's just very flat and compact. And the closing of it is uh, with a magnet, so you see that it kind of like the flap just holds it together there. So that's really comfortable because you don't have to worry about it flying open inadvertently. On the inside, you see that they it has great, great colors, and also it has a really nice big mirror on top. This is definitely the best packaging of all, and I think overall the Balm has great packaging on all of their, their palettes, so good job to them. The second one is Best Color Payoff. This definitely has to go to the Lorac Pro Palette. This is by far, I think, the most pigmented palette I have ever tried, and it has so many beautiful colors. I think the range is beautiful. And of course the the fact that you get all these mattes and then all these shimmers in all of these like very usable colors are so wonderful. You can get such a nice look from this palette and I think the littlest amount of it goes such a long way that if you buy this once, I don't think you will ever have to repurchase it. Uh, if you lose it though, you would want to repurchase it because you will love it so much when you get it. My most versatile palette would definitely have to be the 120 color palette eyeshadow from BH Cosmetics. And this palette pretty much has every single color in the rainbow. As you can see, I have like, you know, 120 colors that, you know, are just beautiful. They're super pigmented as well. I think that these shadows are great, great quality. Some of them can be a little bit um, powdery, but nothing that you can't control with a light hand or just really good application. Best for traveling. I give this one to the Balm with their Balm Jovi Rockstar palette. Um, I think that this palette, it has the same opening and closing technique for the other nude tube palette but this one has a variety of different things like in the bottom here it has two lip shades which is great to have when you're traveling just a compact um, palette with everything you have a blush you have a highlight and then you have a variety of different eyeshadows I think oh I mean you also get like a huge mirror up here which is just very convenient to in one palette you have it all I think that this is the dream palette for just traveling and going uh, anywhere with just one thing this would be the thing also these colors act like you know you can very easily use these two colors as eyeliners which I have done in the past the colors here are arranged really nicely you get some really nice uh, highlight shades some really nice just all over lid shades and some very deep crease shades as well so everything in one palette very compact very sturdy and you're good to go my biggest regret is this palette now it has nothing to do with the brand because i do love elf um, they do have some really great quality products uh, but in terms of this purchase if i could do it all over again i wouldn't have gotten this Simply because I got it just because it was on sale in Target and it cost like $4.25. Um, but I have never used it and I bought it over a year ago and I'm actually getting rid of it now. But this is what it looks like. As you can see it came with um, a primer right there. Then it has also a little sponge tip applicator there and uh, an eyeliner. I haven't even taken out the eyeliner because I have other eyeliners. And then these six eyeshadows that are supposed to give you a smoky eye. I liked the concept. I thought I liked the price as well. So I got it. I ended up wasting $4.25 because I've never used this thing and I'm getting rid of it now. Best color names. Okay, this is going to the balm again. And I am picking my Shady Lady Volume 2 palette. They play off on the whole Shady Lady aspect of it. First of all, I love this palette as well. It has a really 
big mirror here on top and it has nine very 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 nice shades you can get like a really neutral eye with these shadows right here on this side of the palette and then also you get like a really nice pop of color on that side as well I think that this palette is very versatile as well but they're all very satiny not very metallic these two over here are straight up glittery shades they're mostly very satin shades and just very very nice the quality of them are super it's super super great i mean the balm overall has really great um eyeshadow products in terms of best color names these play off of the whole shady lady and for example makeout mary just this one's jamie feisty felicia tempting tara mischievous marissa devilish danielle and caught in the act corny i just read you the whole thing so i think that these are um, these are you know cute very cute and very nicely named my least used palette has to be this one from urban decay first of all i want to say that it's really cute because the outside of it is, is like a velvet um and then it has these this metallic thing right here which kind of jiggles too so it's very cute but the colors of it are very just bright and not colors that i would be able to wear on a daily basis they're really great if you use them of course every single time they're they're awesome because they are really great quality the colors of them though i don't typically reach for on a daily basis or even like on a regular basis so this would have to be my least used palette and the colors again overall are super amazing you have really great shades here that could act as like accent shades to give you a little pop of color and also you know shades that you could put all over the lid for like a really dramatic look so overall quality of these are great my least uh, used palette in terms of the usability I have for the actual eyeshadows but overall is a really great palette and now for my most used most loved desert island palette this is gonna come as a huge surprise to all of you because it's a very simple and you know simple palette but if I were in a desert deserted island I figure I don't need that much makeup um, I will want something basic, something that I know looks good, that I could apply it in different ways to get different looks from it, um, that I could use it to get away with maybe bringing other products that I would have to use. And then also I don't need that much makeup, right? Because if you're in a deserted island, why would you care about using that much makeup? It is the silent, the silent treatment from uh, Wet n Wild. This eyeshadow palette has gotten so much love for me over the years. I have used it again and again to get so many different looks. I think it's super good to have because you have an, a great all over the, the lid eyeshadow, which you can apply very dark or very sheer, you know, depending on what type of look you're going for. for. You could also use that black shade as an eyeliner. You can also use it as um, just to deepen the crease kind of color. You can use this brow bone uh, color to highlight or you could just use it as, you know, when you're doing a no makeup type of makeup look. Uh, just put that color all over your lid and you're good to go. I think that this palette with a liner brush probably, um, you can do anything because all the other, other colors you could pretty much apply with your fingers and be good to go in a deserted island. With nothing else but this, I will th I think I would look glamorous. Very, very glamorous. So good job, Wet n Wild. So I hope that you guys liked this video and found it a little helpful and useful. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! And then also it has like uh, metallic Such a wide variety of just... Ooh, I stuck my finger in one of them. And so much love from me over the years. <laughs> and what was I talking about here? Oh yes, best color names. <laughs> Hi, Ma.